Let's layer. Noodles. Broccoli. Mm -hmm. Some people ask me, they're like, how do you eat so much? I'm like, first of all, I'm hungry, okay? And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you are watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. On Mondays, we do mukbangs on this channel. If you guys don't know, mukbang is an eating show. So we are going to be eating together and having a fantastic time. And today we are not only eating, but we are also going to be cooking as well. So you're gonna get a nice recipe in this video. So if you guys like mukbang videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's just get started. So today guys, as you can see by the title, we're going to be making what I call a peanut saute udon noodle bowl. And I actually made this for another YouTube channel. I did like a 10 minute challenge video where I challenged myself to do this in 10 minutes. So I did that a few weeks ago. I'll link that video down below. It was a lot of fun. And today I thought I would show you guys because, well, you guys are the best. Okay. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make it. I'm not gonna do a challenge. I'm gonna be more chilled and make it slowly for you guys. I will have the written recipe in a blog post down below. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will of course have that link in the description box. Now, let's turn this baby on. Okay, I probably should have done that a while ago. Okay. Ooh, it's already hot. All right, friends, so now we have this heating up right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Now guys, don't judge me, but I measure my oil now because it's very easy to overdo and there is no need to overdo on the oil. So I'm using half a teaspoon of oil. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. So we're just heating that up. I am so hungry, I'm so excited. I actually went for a run and I haven't run for a long time and it's got me ravenous, guys. I find myself, even if I'm not exercising, I'm like just as hungry. I don't know why. So I'm like not burning as much. I'm not like moving as much, but I'm still just as hungry as I would be if I exercise. So I might as well exercise, right? So I think it is heated up. So guys, for vegetables, I've got here some onion. I don't know why I said it like that. I've got some onion, half a small onion I use, or a quarter of a medium onion you can use. I also have some broccoli and some bell pepper. Woo! So we're gonna cook this up. Now, if you had a lid, you can put the lid on top as well, but I always forget something, right guys? Every time I film a mukbang and I'm too lazy to get up and get it, so we're just going to roll with this, okay? I hope you are focused. There you go. Are you focused? Okay. So now we can just mix together the sauce. This is so easy. Guys, like I said, I did this in 10 minutes, but you don't have to do it in 10 minutes, okay? Small bowl. Uh, you won't be able to see what I do, but that's okay. You get the concept, okay? But because this is a peanut saute udon noodle bowl, what do you think we will need, my friends? We will need peanut butter, okay. So, I actually have two different kinds. I have the, I don't know why I don't have the uh, natural peanut butter, but I have smooth, craft smooth peanut butter. Now, I usually prefer to just get the natural peanut butter that's just all natural peanut butter, like no sugar or anything added, but this is what I have to work with, so that's fine. Um, I have that. Now I'm gonna need two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now I decided that instead of adding two tablespoons of this, I'm gonna mix it up, okay? So I'm gonna use one tablespoon. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of powdered peanut butter or PB2. So if you guys haven't tried powdered peanut butter, it's basically like a peanut butter that's in powder form and then you actually add water to it or some kind of liquid and it becomes kind of like peanut butter but like less fatty and like less in calories. So if you're making like a sauce, it's actually a really good thing to use uh, depending on what kind of sauce you're making because it still tastes like peanut butter but just like less calories and less fat. But I find that when I spread it on like bread or something, I do prefer like actual peanut butter. So depends on what I'm cooking. Let's just mix this around. Can you guys hear me all right? I hope you can. <laughs> My biggest fear is like recording all this and then the mic is off. Oh God, is it on? Oh my God. All right, friends. So we're gonna add in one tablespoon of, whoops. whoops. One tablespoon of powdered peanut butter. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of regular peanut butter. If you want, you can just add two tablespoons. Ah! Oh no. Nope, it's 
fine. Oh god, I dropped ice. Oh, my floor is dirty, I hope. I almost broke my wine glass, but I didn't. We're running out of wine glasses because I keep breaking them. All right, so one tablespoon of regular peanut butter. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I am not in a state to cook right now. I just got peanut butter on my dress, almost broke a wine glass. All right, next ingredient. We're gonna need half a tablespoon of red curry paste. This one, guys, is vegan. Does not have any fish sauce. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. I'm gonna add approximately half a tablespoon. Maybe a little more, I like, I like a nice kick. Now, if you don't have red curry paste, I feel like you can use any sort of chili sauce, sriracha, something. Whoop! Along those lines, but red curry paste, so good with this. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce. Ooh, that is spicy, guys. Do I have enough in here? Ooh, just enough. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup. Yum. Just gonna use. Ah! Guys, I feel like some kind of tragic event is going to happen right now. I don't know. This is not off to a good start. Woo! You think this ice is melted? Maybe I'll drop a little water. <laughs> God, I'm so smart. All right. So we got the soft ingredients in here. Now we can mix it up. Don't mind if I do. I wish I had a whisk right now. I'm gonna use this little teeth. Lord, guys. Lord, help me. All right. So now, so easy. Now, my original recipe, I added a third cup of chickpeas, but this time, I'm not going to because of a reason I will tell you later, okay? So I've got udon noodles already cooked, so I'm just gonna add that straight in here, and then, you know what? I might actually need some water. What was I thinking? Let's just add the soap. Ooh. Let me grab some water. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this kind of off, like, or low. And then I still have some sauce in here that I would like to add. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I don't like to waste no sauce, guys. So, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on again because I kind of wanted to get all like bubbly and add a little bit more water. Mm. These colors, you guys see? Oh my god, it's so good! It smells amazing. All right, so at this point. I have some green onions I'm gonna add. These are actually frozen green onions because I don't have any fresh ones. So sometimes when I have a lot of green onions, I just, I freeze them. I chop them up and I freeze them so I can use them in dishes like this. So that's what I have. Just gonna cook it up a little bit more. But as you can see, it's coming together pretty nicely. Oh my friends, this is so good. My arm hurts. Oh my god, I swear I'm gonna break something today. All right. All right. So I think this is pretty much done. Now, I'm gonna put aside a little room here because I have something else. I've got some gochujang soy curls. Yay! So I just made these. Super quickly. If you guys don't know, soy curls are basically dehydrated pieces of soy meat that you rehydrate just by putting it in water. And then you can just flavor them however way you want. It's a great source of protein and it's so good. So I just made some gochujang soy curls and these are made with just some gochujang. I put some mirin, which is like a cooking wine. It's like a sweet cooking wine, just a little bit. And then I also added a little bit of coconut aminos and it's so good. I thought it would be a good little interesting addition to this mukbang. 
Um, otherwise, again, you can add some chickpeas into this dish and that's how you make it. That's it. One last little final touch I'm gonna add, some toasted sesame seeds, just all over. Mm hmm Oh my god, you guys. All right, guys, I am ready to eat. Who else? Are you guys ready to eat? Grab some food, my friends. All right, so this is wine glass that I dropped and potentially dirt on the ice, but I, you know what? It's fine. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay, where's my, where's my, no. Oh God. All right. So I got my drink. You guys know the drill at this point. Bubbly, my fave. <laughs> Just gonna pour some into my dirty ice. Okay, no big deal. Mmm. Cheers, my friends. I'm ready to dig in. I'm just gonna use this plate. Okay, first bite of this. Come on, let's get a big one. Let's get some. Ooh. Yum. Who loves udon noodles? Oh my god. They are seriously the best. It is so good. Mm. So the original recipe I used bok choy, but broccoli is also a good addition. Mmm. Udon noodles are just so chewy and delicious. And this sauce just goes so well. It definitely has a slight kick. And the flavor builds as I keep eating, I feel. It becomes slightly more spicy as I keep chewing. Mm. My friends, it almost has a sticky feel to it, which is actually quite nice. So good. Mm. I really do love broccoli. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's have some of this. Gochujang soy curls. Mm. Again, just gochujang, which is Korean red pepper paste, a little bit of mirin, and a little bit of coconut aminos, which is kind of like a soy sauce substitute, but it's a little bit sweeter. Mm. Mm. The concoction is quite sweet because mirin is also a bit sweet and coconut aminos is a bit sweet but the kuchinang flavor still comes through a little bit. Mm. My friends, let's do a little soy curls and uh, broccoli. Mm. Guys, vegan food, I don't understand when people are like, oh, I don't want to eat anything vegan. It's like, do you do you want to try this delicious food? So good. Mm.
friends. You need to make this for your significant other, okay? Or somebody you're trying to impress because oh, it's so good and it doesn't take much effort. So we have here soy curls and the udon. Let's eat it together. I love doing and I didn't know the term for this <laughs> let's say I put you know a bite of udon noodle in my mouth then I like to layer it so I already put this in my mouth and then I like add some of this in my mouth then I add some broccoli in my mouth maybe add some kimchi in my mouth so I like to layer the food in my mouth as I'm chewing do other people do this is this like I don't know maybe it's like a Korean thing but like when people just take one bite and then just like chew, 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 swallow. And then take the next bite, chew, 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 swallow. I'm like, you're not getting all the flavors together. Unless you like add, you stack it, you know? You can stack it. Maybe let's try doing that. That would be, I guess, the proper way to do it. But then it's hard to stack it because, you know, maybe you have a small mouth. My mouth ain't so big, you know? Let's try. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It's not gonna be easy. See, this is why I need to. I'm also not very good with chopsticks, so. All right, let's try this giant bite for me anyway. Mm. Mm. See, I already want to layer it more. benefit to eating it all together but there's also something special about layering the flavors let's do that let's layer <laughs> is anyone else as passionate about food as I am noodles mm. So good. I am in heaven, my friends. Soy curl. Some people ask me, they're like, how do you eat so much? I'm like, first of all, I'm hungry, okay? Second of all, it's because I eat in variety. I think that's what it is, you know? See, I like to have a variety. I need to have different textures, okay? So we got the udon noodles, we got the broccoli, we got the uh, what should we call it? Pepper, and then I had to have the soy curls, you know. They do say you can definitely eat more if there are more, if there's more variety. So, one little like hack to eat less would be to eat just one type of food, right? Because you're more likely to get like sick of eating if you have like, let's say one bowl of spaghetti versus a bowl of spaghetti and like a side of salad or a side of, I don't know, 
something. <laughs> because you're like, you know, switching up your palate, you don't get sick of it. That's why people say they have a different stomach for dessert. Pretty sure it's scientifically proven. Maybe not scientific. It's a, uh, there are studies. Mmm, onion. Mmm. Oh, that onion is so good. Mm. My friends, you must try this, guys. It's actually like, I'm very proud of this, you know? Mm. Mm hmm. See, when you use udon noodles, you're like half cheating because they're already so good. So it's like, unless you really mess up, it's probably gonna taste good. Mm. Layering time. Mm. My friends, I am so happy. All right, here's another bite. Mm. Mm. That this is almost gone. I feel like I could eat another portion of this, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, what should I eat next? Tell me, what do you want to see me eat? Mm -hmm. All right, I want to get the big spoon out. Food makes me happy, my friends. Food makes me happy. You know they say you should eat to live. There's a book called Eat to Live. It's about plant-based food. I purchased it. I think I have it somewhere. Apparently we should eat to live, not live to eat, but I don't know guys. I feel like I live to eat as well. <laughs> I love food. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Anyways, you guys, that was my mukbang. That was absolutely so delicious. I'm like actually just so happy.
It's making me emotional. Like I didn't even talk about anything but the food. Hopefully that was interesting. I don't know, okay? But I couldn't focus on anything else because it was so good and I was just really just you know, in the moment, I was enjoying myself. I was in a flow state. So, yeah, that was so good. I really hope you guys try this out. It is just the bomb. If you don't have udon noodles, you can use probably whatever noodles you have. Uh, but udon noodles are really good with this. So, I would try to find them if you can. They are in the Asian section of uh, regular grocery stores quite often. Or in Asian grocery stores. They might be just in like the, you know, instant noodle section sometimes. And uh, yeah, hope you guys can find them. They're so, so good. It is all about the thick noodles. The thick udon noodles. That is what it is all about, okay? Let me know down below what your thoughts were, guys. Don't be a stranger. If you guys want me to eat anything in the next mukbang, leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, of course, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!